Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's Game of Thrones Season 6 predictions for Sansa. In this video, I give my predictions on what I think will happen with the character of Sansa Stark in Season 6. So I'll have to give a spoiler warning for Game of Thrones up to Season 5. If you have not seen up to Season 5, you may not want to watch this video, otherwise things will be spoiled for you. Also, a spoiler warning for filming, production, and casting news from Season 6. If you don't want to know anything about what's been confirmed for Season 6, this video may also not be for you and also spoiler warning for the Song of Ice and Fire novels on which Game of Thrones is based if you have not read the novels this video may also not be for you because some of my predictions are based off of the novels as well so with that out of the way, let's jump right into my predictions for Sansa Stark. Uh, I believe that her Season 6 storyline will begin right where it left off, as she had one of the biggest cliffhangers in Season 5, as she was last seen leaping off a castle wall with Theon. I do think they're both okay. Um, the idea is there's a lot of snow to cushion their fall. However, uh, they may be a bit hurt or limping after such a high fall. Uh, however, Ramsay will instantly know that she is missing because he was just returning to the castle when she jumped where he will find the body of his dead girlfriend in plain sight. So uh, it won't take him long to realize what transpired and of course his top priority will be to find her and bring her back. So he will send out search parties with dogs to track her down and in a situation like that I think it's pretty impossible for her to get away without being caught. So, what I think will happen is she will in fact be spotted by a small search group of like three or four people who will grab her and try to kill Theon and all will seem to be lost, but then who is it that comes to her rescue but none other than Brienne of Tarth. After having killed Stannis, she would have returned to her perch to look for the tower. Uh, which she would have found that the candle has already been lit. When she sees that and all the search parties uh, out looking for someone, it won't take her long to figure out what happened, and so she will endeavor to find Sansa before the Boltons do. So she will come just in the nick of time and kill the small Bolton search party, and then work quickly to get them out of the area and cover their tracks so they will not be followed. Once they're safe and away, Sansa will have a little chat with Brienne and discover she was the one looking out for her in Winterfell and she will be grateful to Brienne for saving her life and thus would have finally earned her trust. So this time Sansa will accept Brienne's oath to protect her from all harm. So Brienne will kneel before Sansa and swear an oath to protect her and to obey her every order no matter what. Sansa will tell them that Theon saved her life so they need to protect him as well. She learned uh, with Ramsay last season that her half-brother Jon Snow is the new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, so she will order Brienne to take her to Castle Black as she thinks that will be the safest place for her, so the four of them will head north. On their way north, however, they will come across a group of soldiers traveling. They will attempt unsuccessfully to hide, however, they will be spotted. Sansa will identify them as Umber Men, uh, who were Stark Bannermen, and will take a risk in identifying herself to them. Uh, when they hear they are headed to Castle Black, they'll give them the news that Jon Snow is dead and suggest that they return uh, with them to the Last Hearth uh, where her brother Rickon is. Excited to learn um, where he is, she'll agree to go with them. However, Theon will be hesitant to go, feeling he has no place in the North. The Umbermen will inform them that Theon's sister Yara is at Deepwood Moat, uh, but the Ironborn are preparing to leave after striking a deal with the North to retreat from the North after hearing about the death of their father Balon Greyjoy. Theon will want to return with her, so Sansa will order a pair of them to safely escort him uh, to his sister and tell them to keep him safe because he saved her life. So they will dutifully obey and the rest will take her, Brienne, and Podrick back to the last hearth. 
Once there, she will happily be reunited with her brother Rickon, and will meet small John Umber, um, whom he had been staying with for the last couple of years. Small John will treat her as royalty, as uh, he is still loyal to the Starks, and will inform her that they've been trying to rebuild an alliance loyal to the Starks to declare Rickon the Lord of Winterfell and overthrow the Boltons. But so far, they only have a few houses that have agreed the most prominent one being the Mormons of Bear Island. Sansa will then take charge of trying to uh, unite them and will order Small John to gather the lords here so she convinced them to take up arms against the Boltons. At the meeting, she will not be entirely successful because the new Lord Car Stark will speak up against supporting the Starks, saying that Rob led them to their deaths, and the same thing would happen again if they trusted them. Uh, he, of course, will still hold a grudge against the Starks for executing their Lord Rickard Car Stark. Now, it's been confirmed from casting news uh, that they have cast Small John Umber and a new Lord Car Stark for season six. It's unclear whether this new Lord. Lord Karstark is Arnoff Karstark or a show creation. Either way, I do believe the show will change the Karstark situation from the books, make it a bit, a bit less complicated. Uh, I believe this new Lord Karstark will be the rightful Lord of Carhold and will not have to try to plot to take it over as Arnoff did in the books. The casting call referred to him as Ruthless, so I do believe he will be a foe to Sansa and the main hindrance to Sansa in uniting the North against against the Boltons. So this meeting won't be such a success, as the new Lord Karstark will be openly hostile to them. Uh, Sansa will then do some research and learn that the new Lord Karstark has a nephew or a younger cousin or someone who feels that they should be the Lord of Karhold. So she will then do some dark alley wheeling and dealing with him, and will then uh, invite the Lord Karstark to a meeting, which will be a trap. The other Karstark heirs will ambush and kill him there. Grateful to Sansa for now becoming the new Lord Karstark and also being part of the deal, the Karstarks will now declare for the Starks. Uh, and with no further opposition, the alliance to unite against the Boltons will gain momentum and start to move for, uh, forward. So, this will be a case where we get to see Dark Sansa scheming and showing off what she's learned from all those years of being around Cersei and Littlefinger, and thus will scheme her way to unite a Stark alliance. And as I mentioned in my Jon Snow video, by episode 5, Jon, Davos, and Melisandre will arrive at the last hearth uh, where both John and Sansa will be happy to learn that each other are still alive. John will persuade the small John to add a force of wildlings to their army to take Winterfell from the Boltons, and thus the Starks will have a huge army behind them in an effort to make Rakan king of the north. Uh, if you want to know more about what I think Jon Snow will be up to, you can check out my video on my predictions for him, which I'll put a link to in the description below. Thus, Davos will meet Brienne, and Brienne, being the honest, lumbering idiot she is, will simply blurt out that she killed Stannis. Now, Davos isn't the type to jump to anger, and I don't see him just raging out and trying to kill Brienne. I think he'll understand she was just acting out of loyalty to Renly, but still, he won't think very highly of her and will have a just-stay-the-hell-away-from-me sort of attitude with her. And as I said in my Jon Snow video, in episode 6, Ramsay will have discovered Sansa is at the last hearth and will send Jon the pink letter demanding Sansa's return. So they will feel it is no longer safe for Sansa there and they will not want the only two known living Stark heirs in the same place. At this stage, the plan will not just be to retake the north for the Starks, but also to retake the Riverlands for the Tollys who pledged themselves for the North, and so they will not just want to abandon them. In addition, there were a number of Northern troops uh, that were in the Riverlands, uh, but not in attendance at the Red Wedding, that are still in the Riverlands fighting to regain Tully rule. Included in these troops was Small John's father, the Great John Umber. This much was confirmed in a Blu-ray extra and in interviews with writer Brian Cogman, who stated there were several Northern troops that escaped the Red Wedding because they were elsewhere at the time uh, during doing other various missions in the Riverlands and the Great John was among them. So 
The small John will be eager to help out his father, and with his, this new injection of wildland forces uh, to take Winterfell, it means they will be able to spare a few troops to travel to the Riverlands to help with the effort there, as uh, apparently they have also already managed to retake Riverrun for the Tullys, but are having problems holding it. Sansa will demand to go with them, to which Jon Snow will be against because it's too dangerous as she'll be headed into a war zone. However, she will counter that at least no one is specifically looking for her down there, whereas here Ramsay is specifically looking for her. And Brienne will pledge to keep her safe on their journey and ensure no harm will come to her, so Jon will reluctantly agree. So in episode 6, she will set off with a group of northern troops and Brienne and Podrick for the Riverlands and will arrive there in episode 8. Uh, there, they will meet with a general who might possibly be Beric Dondarrion or perhaps just some generic general. She will learn that unfortunately the great John Umber died some time ago in a raid against the Lannisters, but uh, the group, which is made up of northern men, Tully loyalists, and what used to be known as the Brotherhood Without Banners, have been severely outnumbered and so have mostly been using guerrilla tactics, including ambush, ambushing random frays and hanging them as retribution for the Red Wedding. Their current concern is to break the siege of River Run, which the Blackfish currently holds. They attempted to lure the Frey men into a trap and then ambush them, but the trap failed because Jamie Lannister took charge of the forces and saw through the trap. Jamie is a huge hindrance to their plan and threatens to unite the Riverlands for the Freys as he promises to help rid them of an outlaw group that has been terrorizing the Riverlands. Such an act would weaken the Tully Lowerless power on the Riverlands. So, Sansa will then grill Brienne about her relationship with Jaime as she will know that she had Lannister gold when they first met, and she will get it out of her that Jaime trusts her. Reminding her that she swore an oath to obey her no matter what, Sansa will order Brienne to lure Jaime away from the siege and kill him. Brienne at first will refuse this order, but Sansa will remind her that she took an oath to obey her every order, and if she refuses, she will be an oath breaker. Brienne will then try to convince her there must be another way, but Sansa will say there is no other way because in order to make progress in the Riverlands, they need Jaime Lannister dead. So finally, Brienne will agree and she'll order Podrick to stay behind and look after Sansa's needs. So Brienne will go to Jamie and lure him away from River Run. Once he's gone, they will try their trap again, and without Jamie there, this time it will work. Bronn, who will still be there, would have seen through the trap, but no one will listen to him because he's just a loathsome sellsword. So the Frey troops will fall right into the trap and be slaughtered by the Northern forces. Um, there have been reports of scenes being filmed after the aftermath of the Siege of River Run, and I believe it will be these after the siege has been broken. Sansa will then arrive at River Run and confer with her uncle Edmir, who would have been rescued when the siege was broken, and her great uncle Brendan Blackfish Tully. She will convince them to spare some of the Lannister prisoners as hostages, uh, but all the Frey prisoners will be hanged as retribution for the Red Wedding. Uh, when it comes to Bronn, they will want to hang him as well, as they don't see any value in just a worthless sellsword, um, but Sansa will recognize him from the time she spent with Tyrion and will know that he has ties to the Lannisters and so will spare his life. Uh, by this time, um, they would have heard the news that uh, Jon Snow was successful in defeating the Boltons and Rakan is declared King of the North, and the Tullys will fly the Stark Banner over River Run, declaring for King Rakan. And Sansa will ask for more troops to be sent south so they can secure the Riverlands uh, by taking the twins and killing Walder Frey, which will be their next step. And that's how Sansa's Season 6 storyline will end. 
So I've been planning on making this prediction for a while uh, that Sansa is going to the Riverlands and ordering Brienne to kill Jaime as a surrogate for Lady Stoneheart. Uh, this is what I had in mind when I did my Jon Snow video a couple weeks ago in which I said I felt Sansa would be going elsewhere. This is also what I had in mind when I did my Jaime video last week when I said that Brienne would lure him away from River Run. Uh, however, earlier this week, Watchers on the Wall reported that Sophie Turner was seen near the River Run set, uh, but then it was discovered later that she was filming with a second unit uh, that was unrelated to the River Run siege, but uh, this led many to speculate that she would be in the Riverlands, but I assure you, I came up with my predictions for her being in the Riverlands uh, before these leaks came out. However, some would say that these leaks are proof she isn't going to the Riverlands because it was reported specifically that she was not shooting on the River Run set. So some may think this contradicts my predictions, but I don't think it does because um, I don't think that the River Run set refers to uh, the interior sets. I think it just refers to the exterior where the siege is going on, and I don't think she will be there for the siege. In fact, if she was spotted there, uh, that would have contradicted my predictions. The fact that she was reported not to be there actually goes hand in hand with my predictions. It's true I predicted she would be at River Run at the end of the season, but these would be mostly interior shots, uh, which film leaks for the most part are completely in the dark about. So while it's true Sansa could still possibly be going anywhere else in season six. I'm still hedging my bets that she'll be going to the Riverlands at the end of the season. Also, after I made my Jamie video last week, it was reported Gwendolyn Christie was spotted on the River Run set with Nikolai Costa Wolder, and this also goes hand in hand with my predictions. Also, the fact that Sophie Turner was in the area could mean she was filming scenes with Gwendolyn Christie elsewhere in the Riverlands, uh, which is why they filmed it nearby, uh, which would also go hand in hand with my predictions. You never know. Um, I would remind you that even though Sansa spent most of season 5 in Winterfell, this was completely missed in filming leaks and people didn't even catch wind of this until after the first trailer was released in January. And even then, it was just a wild theory. It wasn't until the second trailer was released in March, a mere one month before season 5 aired, that it started to become common knowledge. And even then, there were some people who still doubted that she was going to Winterfell. So at this stage in season six it's still far too early to tell where certain characters may end up. Also in my Jamie video I said I didn't think Ed Maritoli would be in season six however you may have noticed I included him here and that's because it was confirmed shortly after I made that video that he is going to be in season six. So I think Jamie may threaten him as a way to try to coax Blackfish out of River Run, but I don't think it will work like it did in the books because I don't think the siege of River Run will be resolved before Brienne shows up. Also, as you may be able to tell from my predictions, this means I don't think Lady Stoneheart will be in season six. In fact, I don't think she'll be in the show at all. I think the main reason for this is that the show doesn't want to overdo it with too many resurrections and will choose to focus on Jon Snow being resurrected. Uh, having it happen to Catelyn also I think would be too much. Um, the books can get away with it because they are more expansive and they have a lot more characters and a lot more stuff happening. However, the show is more compact, a bit more focused, and I think it would be more noticeable, especially if they both happened in the same season. So I do believe Lady Stoneheart's role will be given to other people, such as in my predictions, the Brotherhood uh, simply hang phrase without her, and Sansa will be the one who orders Brienne to kill Jaime. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Don Willie, who I did a discussion video with several months ago, who, say, who said he thought that Sansa would take the place of Lady Stoneheart in the Riverlands, but I said I thought she'd stay in the North. However, since then, I've changed my mind and thought she might do both in Season 6, so I've since come around to his way of thinking, so I just wanted to acknowledge that for him. 
So that's it for my Season 6 predictions for Sansa. I don't expect to get more than 20% of these predictions correct. And if I do get that much, I'll consider it a success because these are all just wild shots in the dark. But it's fun to speculate. So make sure you come back here every Monday for a new Game of Thrones Season 6 prediction video focusing on a different character every week. And check out my channel for many more Game of Thrones videos. And be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all that. And thanks a lot for watching.